Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazoo and welcome back to another guide by T Gaming and today we'll be doing the item disassembler testing and results. So our testing parameters will be to disassemble level 45 and 50 items. So we'll start with level 45 rare main weapon. And there you go, you can see that we are getting 6 and 2 here. That's from our first plus 6 item, so we're trying to plus 5 right now. So basically I'm going to do from plus 6 all the way to plus 1 because for the new item disassembler system you cannot disassemble higher than plus 7 and above so I'm gonna see whether which yields the best result from my own testing so I'm gonna be doing level 45 rare main weapons, level 50 rare main weapons, level 50 rare secondary weapons, level 50 epic main weapons, level 50 epic secondary weapons and we'll see what are the results we'll get and I'll share with you guys my findings and the important stuff that you need to know as usual so just see for yourself the disassembling results and you'll notice a very nice pattern or you have probably realized after the first one so yep just watch the rest of the disassembling for now Well, I'm not too sure if you guys enjoyed watching 4 minutes worth of dissembling, but some players do want to see for themselves that the fares are legit. If you have noticed so far, the number of jewels received is at least the enhancement level of the equipment, plus a random amount given as well, which is usually 1 to 2 jewels. For example, a plastic weapon will give at least 6 jewels, plus 1 jewel at the end, which is a total of 7 jewels. For rare weapons, you only get polished agates. For epic weapons, however, you can get either polished orphans or diamonds. For example, a plastic epic weapon can have a chance to give you 6 polished orphans or diamonds and this applies to the random jewel given as well. 
You can receive a variety of combinations like 6 polished Orthiums and 1 diamond, 6 polished diamonds and 1 additional diamond at the end. Basically a mix and match between diamonds and Orthiums if you get what I mean and this is using plus 6 epic weapons as an example. So the next question you'll be asking will be whether dissembling different types of equipment will actually give you different amounts of jewels. Let's find out. This time, we'll be testing with level 50 rare and epic armor pieces, which are the helmet, upper body, lower body, gloves, and boots, respectively. As you can see, there's no difference in the amount of jewels you will receive with all the different parts you use. Armor pieces will yield the same number of jewels as weapons in a new item dissembler. So what's the catch? Firstly, the number of jewels is not affected by the type or part of item you are dissembling. There's no difference in dissembling armors or weapons. Secondly, which is the most important point, there's no exponential difference in dissembling a higher enhanced item. There's simply no need to enhance items to level as high as plus 6 since there's a chance of failing doing enhancements which causes the wastage of jewels. For those thinking to make some goals off the new system, simply compare your jewel prices with the equipment prices in your trading house. For example, current autumn prices in Greenwood is around 18 gold. So, dissembling an item will always net you an additional random number of jewels, which means that if you purchase an item lower than the cost of one jewel, you can actually make gold of this. You can buy a level 50 epic item and enhance it to plus 3. If you take 3 autumns to get it to plus 3, you can sell off the additional autumn. And if the item you bought is cheaper than the cost of the additional autumn, then you have already made some gold this way. Do also remember that epic items can give either Orthiums or Diamond Jewels, so do take that into consideration as well. I think that's all for today's guide, which is the item dissembler. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something today and helped you with regards to this, because I've been getting a lot of mails asking me about the new item dissembler system, so yep. So if this helped you, give it a thumbs up and once again subscribe to TE Gaming if you haven't. So I'm pretty busy with the starting of the new website, dncpp.com, so I'll be behind in terms of knowing your skills and other PvE stuff for TE Gaming. So I hope you guys understand and once again thanks for watching, God bless and I'll see you guys next time.